Phelps Rover and I'm from Topeka, Kansas, from the Westboro Baptist Church, the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the pillar and ground of the truth, it's where you lay the axe to the root of the tree. And what we're doing here is we're helping these people connect the dots. If you obey God, He'll bless you. If not, He'll curse you. All these dead people are a curse, cut off before their lives are, many of them, half over. In fact, before their lives even barely get started by their Creator. We are required to cause America to know her abominations. And that's what we're doing. We are supposed to provoke our fellow man, our fellow countrymen, to obey God. And those that sin, rebuke before all, so that others also may see it, or hear it, and be afraid. That's what we do. And that's what's going on today. And so, that's right. And we are pointing out to these people that one of the most important criteria and you find this at Matthew 25, you don't have to take my word for this. It's in many places, but it's clearly said out of the mouth of the Lord Jesus Christ. That in the day of judgment, these guys, he's going to have his, his sheep, or his elect, on his right side, and the rest on his left side. He'll send those on his left hand to hell, and so forth. And they will say at that hour, why? What did we do? And he will say, when I was hungry, you didn't feed me. When I was thirsty, you didn't clothe me. I mean, you didn't give me a drink. When I was naked, you didn't clothe me. You can read all this in Matthew 25. And he gives a litany of things that they did. And they say to him, but we never saw you. When did we do this to you? He said, when you did it to my little one. Those that served me had a public service in the earth. When you did it to them, you did it to me. This guy did it to us because we serve God. It's the morning sheep. It is like you said. It's the dead. It's the uh, uh. It's the police busy on a motor. An escort because this guy's wife is a judge. That's why they're getting this escort. He's the devout and honorable people. Who's in a limo? Limo means.